Hello, this is the Mindering Chant, and in today's... Uh, sorry about that. Okay, so it seems that I've got a letter. I should do a video t about this. As some of you know, I did a video a while back talking about Caesar's code and how to encode something with it. In that video I sent a letter at the end and it seems I've got a response. Okay, so let's open it and it seems to be... Uh, it seems to be uh, something in, uh, in ciphered using scissors cipher. Sorry if I said code earlier. Um, as you may know, if you watched that video, I mentioned that it should be in ciphered this way, but I didn't mention the shift. So how can you decipher something like this? Well, you can use frequency analysis. This is the reason Caesar cipher and other ciphers that replace letters of the alphabet aren't very secure. In every language, letters appear at a certain frequency. In the English language, the letter E appears the most. In most languages, is it's a vowel, either an E or an A, but you need to check make sure. If you know the frequency, frequency, you can decipher something very easily, especially if you know which cipher was used. I know that in this case the scissors cipher was used. So if I know that E, if I know what is replace, what E is replaced with, I can write the whole alphabet and know every uh, replacement, the replacement for every letter. So, looking at this, I can tell you that I is the most frequent letter. You can um, count for yourself to see. So that means that E is equal to I in this case. F is equal to J, so on and so forth. Okay, so I've deciphered the message. It reads, the message has been intercepted, mission compromised, returning. That's a little worrying. Okay, so if you found this useful, make sure to subscribe and let me know in the comments what you would like to see me try or do next. Thank you for watching.